Hello, friends. It is so good to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me, Vicar Zach, for this week's children's message for those who are young in age, but also young at heart. I hope that you'll stop what you're doing, like I ask you to do every week, and just take a breath and just sit for a few minutes with me. Just sit to hear what God has to say for us today. This Sunday, we'll start Holy Week, the week where we prepare for Easter. And the way we start Holy Week is with Palm Sunday. And Palm Sunday is this day in the church year where we celebrate Jesus's entry as Jesus travels into Jerusalem. He makes his final trek where he will soon uh, talk to more people, where he will uh, eat with the disciples. He'll have his last supper. He'll pray in the garden. He'll eventually be crucified on a cross. He will die and he'll be buried. But to start it off, this Sunday is Palm Sunday. When we take these palm branches, and I found these, and generally these were big leafy branches. And usually we make them into little, little crosses even. And we do this to remember that we too are able to celebrate the gift of Jesus. So I want to read with you the gospel that we'll actually be hearing on Sunday. It comes from Mark. It's in chapter 11, verses 1 through 11. It goes like this. When they were approaching Jerusalem at Bethpage and Bethany near the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately as you enter it, you will find there tied a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, why are you, go why are you doing this? Just say this, the Lord needs it and will send it back here immediately. They went away and found a colt tied near a door outside in the street. As they were untying it, some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing? Untying the colt. They told them what Jesus had said, and they were allowed to take it. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Then Jesus entered Jerusalem and went into the temple, and he had looked around at everything. As it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. There's a lot of interesting things about this story. The fact that people take the jackets and cloaks off their back and throw them on the road for Jesus and for the donkey to walk on. And then we have the leafy branches too. But the one part of the story that I want to talk about with you today is the colt. The colt is a young donkey. We are told in scripture that this donkey, this colt, has never been ridden. So we are safe to think that this cult is young, inexperienced, that this cult doesn't really know the terrain that well, doesn't know where to go, the directions to, to, to get Jesus to where he needs to go. The cult doesn't know how much even the cult can put on his back as he walks into Jerusalem. But that's okay. That's okay. You know why? Because Jesus calls young people. He calls young people like you, and he calls young animals like the cult to do amazing things. He calls 
us. And he calls young people to get out there and do God's work. The cult, the the young donkey, plays such an important role in our story because this is how Jesus enters into the city. It's how Jesus begins his final days. It's part of the celebration. That's why it's so important that we recognize the young donkey, the cult, because it's a reminder to us that God will use everyone and everything to continue God's work in this world. Whether it be a donkey, whether it be flowers, whether it be any other animal, even mosquitoes and bees. But God calls you and God calls me to go out and to share God's love. And that's that's exactly what the donkey does. And, and to be honest, maybe we should even strive and try to be like the donkey who brings Jesus into the room. That whenever you or I, when we walk into a room, that people will know that Jesus is there because Jesus is in our hearts and because Jesus has marked us with the cross on the forehead at baptism. That this entire time, God is calling us, and especially young people like you, to do God's work in this world. That you don't have to be 13 and a half or 15 or 50 or 100. But we are able to start doing God's work when we're young. We don't have to wait for an invitation from your vicar or from anybody else. Because Jesus has already offered you the invitation. Jesus has already asked you to be the one who brings him into the room. That when you give someone that perfect hug, when you give your parents that good night kiss, when you call somebody on the phone, when you hold the door open, when you wear your mask when you're close by people, when you help people if something has fallen, there you are sharing God's love. Christ Jesus is riding on your shoulders into the room. And we can be bearers of that light. We can be bearers of that amazing, amazing love. So no matter what, no matter what's going on in your life, God knows about it. God sees it. And God is right there next to you. No matter how old you are, God is always, 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 always inviting us to share love with others. So friends, as we journey in this next week, I invite us to do just that. To sit in the love that God has for us, but then also to be like the young cult who's never been ridden before, who might not necessarily know what the heck is going on, but to share God's love with each other, with those you have met before and those who you might meet for the first time, because that's what it's all about, because God loves you. And because God loves this whole world. Friends, let us pray. God of creation, we are grateful that we are able to serve you. That we are able to serve others by sharing the love you have for us. Lord, we're grateful that you call young and old to do your work. We're grateful for the young cult in the story. 
May we be like that young colt who is able to bring you into every situation that we encounter, always seeking to share your love. Lord, we are grateful always that you remind us that we are loved and that we are enough because you are here for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Friends, again, thank you so much for joining us. I hope to see you on Sunday for Sunday School and Worship, um, but also I look forward to seeing you next week. So stay healthy, stay strong, and be well. Bye-bye.